Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park and more point and click adventure game action. Uh, we're right where we left off um, at the bottom of the radio tower. But I've got a couple of things I want to cover first. Uh, I've got a couple more little hints and suggestions from you guys on my uh, my previous video, um, which might be helpful. Um, the person who suggested getting Franklin to go up to the room for the tools has left another hint in the form of a riddle, <laughs> which is, when you want to know directions, luminous footprints will lead your way, whatever the hell that means. Um, I'm hoping it makes more sense when we when we need to do whatever that is. Um, and also from an S. Thomas, um, who says, to save time, you can pick up copies of the map from the store. There's enough for everyone to have their own. You can look at the map anywhere and just click on a location. Um, and now that I think about it, old Sheriff Arino did actually say that he was putting all the maps back, didn't he? In the uh, Quickie Pal, um, which is over here. So rather than running across screens, we can just do it that way. So what we're going to do first is come into Welcome here. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? No, shut up. And we're going to pick up all these maps. Like this. Is that all of them? <sighs> it is. What was that noise? Oh, it's the plant, wasn't it? Right. So if we bring everyone here now, then they can all get their own map. And that will save us doing this sort of running across the screen thing all the time. Um, so let's give one to Agent Ray. There you go. Sure. I'll carry your crap. Uh, you say it's crap now, Ray, but wait until you get it. It's not crap. It's going to save... Well, it's not going to save you any time. It's going to save me time. Which is the most important thing. Ransom, hurry your beeping self up. It's kind of annoying you can't run on this bit. But that will all be solved once the map has arrived. Alright. Another map for Ransom the Beeping Clown. Great! More? They're not very responsive to these, are they? Jeez. Okay, Dolores. You get over there as well. well we've actually got the will in our invent. And it's all in binary. This is all in binary. Should be easy to write a program to convert it to ASCII so I can read the will. Ah. Maybe we've got to write a program on our computer. So that we can convert it. Okay, and that one's Thank for you. Dolores. So now. We should be good. To be able to just use the map. So thanks for that tip, because it completely slipped my mind that he said he was putting all of those back. Um, and it's a hell of a lot quicker to just do that. Alright, and I said before, yeah, Ransom can climb up. It's a long old way up here, isn't it? Oh, let's get the clown to climb the ladder! <laughs> oh, I love Ransom so much. The circus freak will climb the ladder! I did actually see the other day on Twitter that um All this climbing just to solve a puzzle. <laughs> they've released a, a DLC for making me do this. <laughs> um I think it's like beep uh, ransom unbeeped or something like that. All this <laughs> but I think it's only on Steam. <laughs> what the hell is this? Looks complicated. <laughs> All you gotta do is use the switch. Now I better get out of here fast. What happened? We're off the air. Just as we feared, the government sabotaged the tower. Actually, a weird, freaky clown, dude. Uh oh, here she comes. Was it me? Okay, so now if we go in and change the music. I'm not going in there. They did a whole 
and half hour hatchet job call in special on my last performance. Oh, really, Ransom? Okay, let's get old Agent Reyes over there. He'll go in. Aha, in we go. It, it's a turntable. This record has glue all around the edges. Someone must really like this music. We can't pick it up, can we? I can't. It's been glued to the turntable. Okay, what happens if we use this? <laughs> oh, what she's climb. back. Oh no, she's turned it on. We're on air. What is this on here? It's a spinning turntable. Does that mean we've changed it? Let's let's head back quickly to old um Jail Cell, what's his name? Willie the Bum. And let's see if that's worked. Cause now we can't hear that music, right? But he did say he wanted theremin music. I don't know where we get that. Unless that is it. I'm innocent. Can you fix this watch? I can hear it beeping. Right. It was Agent Ray's fault. I always knew you didn't do it. Here's my watch for you to fix. <sighs> it's too quiet in here. Oh. I only work with theremin music playing. Where the hell do we get theremin music? Oh no, she's back. She's gonna switch it. Damn it! Okay, all back to normal again. We need to put one on that turntable, I think. I'm not going in there. They did a whole. I don't know where the hell we're gonna get theremin music from. Maybe the store. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help Ooh, you find dust. anything? Do you sell theremin music? Ooh, dust collector. Who the hell would sell theremin Hi, music? Dolores. Welcome back to Thimbleweed. <laughs> Shame to hear <laughs> about Chuck's death. <laughs> he was a great man. Dude was charming and smart and full of integrity. Sure. Uh, okay. How's your cousin, How's your cousin doing? doing? I heard he got into MIT. Yeah, he did. The total dweeb. Yeah, it makes him a dweeb. Okay, still working at the Quickie Pal, still huh? Still working at the Quickie Pal, huh? You know it, Dee Delicious. I'm keeping it real Why here while I work on names? my inventions. You're an inventor? Well, not exactly. But once I figure out how to get what's in my head onto paper, I'll be just like your uncle. Right. Yeah, sure. Town the looks town pretty looks dead. Town pretty dead now. I haven't been home in a while, and it seems like half the store is packed up and left. Yeah, there's a pretty gnarly ghost town vibe out there. But the diner is still open if you want to pay to lose your lunch. Uh, and the arcade is still going strong. Okay. I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. I think I've beaten all the games in the arcade. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you still have the high score on most of the machines. It's funny. I don't get to play as many games now that I make them for a living. You work for Mucus Phlegm, right? Yeah. Bodacious. Cool. Why would you want to be like Uncle Chuck? Why would you want to be like my Uncle Chuck? The man is my hero. He had it all. Babes, brains, and fat stacks of Benjamins. Who would oh want to God. be like him? Well, me, for one. Okay, he wasn't perfect, wasn't you know. Perfect. Uncle Chuck was human, after all. There's another side to the man he showed in public. <laughs> yeah, but I bet it was even more awesome than the one we got to see. I always wished he was no, my wasn't. uncle. Although it would have made my crush on you in high school super weird. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey. Yeah, it's still kind of weird now. See you, Leonard. Come back soon, um, Dolores. That's not Ransom's joke book there, is it? I can't actually get it's to it, so key. I'm guessing not. Hmm. It says office on it. I personally am really fond of the chocolate bonbons. Okay, sharp. Where the hell are we going to get this record from? I don't already have it. Does Ray have it? No. Okay, I have no idea where it is. Hmm. 
not a clue. Okay, let's, um, so we need to get this theremin music from somewhere. We seem to have drawn a bit of a blank on this. We'll carry on investigating, but let's go and try and figure out this will. So we need to write a program. Let's get over to the mansion. What's on that? What's that? Trailhead. Oh yeah, that's where the X marks the spot is. So we need that shovel as well from Old Duck. So we can go and dig that up. Maybe the theremin music is there. Okay, let's go to Dolores' room. She may well have what we need in here. Because we have the ASCII chart. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages. So I always yes. practice every day. Okay. Let's use the will with the chart. I'll need more than a chart to decode this. Like maybe a powerful Commodore 64. I've got one of those. It's right here. Let's use the will on the computer. This isn't working. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. Damn it. Uh... Maybe these books. This is my complete set of Nancy Drew mysteries. Maybe the library kind of programming book. Let's go down and have a look. We used the library earlier to good effect. Okay, Indextron. This Ooh. is Uncle Chuck's Indextron 3000 library filing More lookup dust. system. It uses the spewy decimal system to catalog. Of course, books. the spewy decimal system. I don't need to find any books now. We do. We need to find a programming book. I don't need to find any books now. Don't we? Decrypt Chuck's will. We need... How are we going to do this then? She said we need a more powerful program. Maybe the C64 can't do it and we need a better computer? I don't know. What did she say about it? It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64. Let's do it again. With dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. This yeah, isn't yeah, yeah. working. I'm going to need a pretty powerful programming language to decrypt this will. A more powerful programming language. Where are we going to get one of those? Maybe Uncle Chuck's room? Is there a computer in there? I have no idea. We also need Ransom's joke book at some point. Scope, robot head. Shelves. No. We may be stuck. We may be stuck. Okay. Who knows about programming? If anyone. I'm sure it's got to be in here, right? But I think we've got to use the spewy decimal system to get a... Because it's literally all... In a random order. I'm at the staircase. Should I use it? Okay, what else do we have to do? No. Okay, journal. Get a thimbleberry pie. Get into Chuck's tomb. Get inside the pillow factory. Okay. What about Franklin? We've got to get into the penthouse and get food. We've got to get to Chuck's tomb. It's a door. How are we going to get into that penthouse? We need food. Where the hell are we going to get food elevator. from? It's a button to call the elevator. All right, let's zap this button. Okay, let's see if we can it's find out where to get this food. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. That's not very nice. What do you what want do to you eat? It's like an ice cream cake or something, wasn't it? I'm rather fond of ice cream cake, but Xavier says I can't leave the elevator. Okay, let's see if we I can grab. get any. Is there a kitchen or anything in this hotel? I honestly don't remember there being one. 
can we leave? We can't leave the hotel, can we? Yes, I don't think we can. What? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier. Oh, I think we tried it before. Hotel. Oh, Xavier's doing it. I wonder what the guest is up to now. Where are we going to get an ice cream cake? There's nothing this way. We can go to Thimblecon. Hello. There's not an ice cream cake anywhere, is there? Oh, do you know what there is? <laughs> pew, pew, pew. How do we get that? That doesn't use electricity. How do we pick it up? The glow makes the cake look delicious. Uh. Pew, pew, pew. How do we get this? Stop that. I don't like frozen cake. Oh, I didn't even see him there. <laughs> Hi, Virgil. Hi, Virgil. Hi, Franklin. Don't let Xavier see us talking and not working. Okay. Can I have some, you know, cake? Can I have some, you know, cake? This is special ghost cake. It's super rare and hard to get. I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason. Uh, okay. How about Clara said she wants some, you know, cake? How about Clara said she wants some, you know, cake? For Clara, that changes everything. For her, <laughs> I do anything. Here, take a slice. Just make sure you tell her it's from me. Thanks. I'll do oh, that. I will. Not. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel, by the way? Out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to spell Chuck's book. funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund, of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know. Except me. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. Okay. Secret room smelled secret really room nice. Okay, get the food to Clara. Find the secret skull, sp uh, spell book. Okay, and we need the thing, something that smells really nice. Maybe like some perfume or something? I don't know. Anyway. Now we have this. Maybe we can get up to the penthouse. Let us see. Uh, how do we actually give this to... Delicious cake, made especially for ghosts. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Uh, would you like this, you know, would you ghost like this, cake? You know, ghost cake? That's just normal ghost cake. Ugh, I only eat ice cream cake. Oh. Bye, Clara. That's ghost cake. Maybe we can blow on it now. It doesn't have any candles to blow out. I just blow oh, sorry, chill my it. face knowing we'll my chill luck. Voila, Aha. Now it's ice cream, ice ghost, cream ghost cake. <laughs> it's just the flat doodle again. Not very nice. Would you, would you want you like this cake? This, you know, uh, ice cream ghost cake? Oh my, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. Actually, ah, it's from see. Virgil. I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Oh, we did say it. Well, I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you it so is. much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? Okay. Do you know how you so, died? Clara, do you know how you died? I was dancing at the hotel ball with my husband, and then I felt a horrible pain in my side, and I woke up dead. I was in the hotel well, that too, sucks. I think. I just remember a flash, <sighs> and then I woke up dead. Just stretching there, we're sorry, guys. In the hotel. There is something creepy about this place. Mm, don't you get bored being stuck here don't for all you eternity? Get bored being stuck here for all eternity? The first fifty years are hard, but then you get used to it. New guests show up, and it's fun to figure out what scares them. I also love this new invention you have called TV. I love when one of the guests is watching Hospital Hijinks. That show Hospital is so hijinks. funny. Hospital Hijinks. I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, who put Xavier, you know, in who charge? Put Xavier, you know, in charge. No one. He just arrived one day, and the next thing I knew, I was on boring elevator duty. He's a fusterlugs and a clazomaniac too, but no one will ever challenge him. You seem like someone who oh, will challenge him. Anyone. Maybe you can. Well, I don't know. I'm not really the type. You know. We... Okay. Can I, you know, go to the penthouse I... now? But you know. Please go to the penthouse now. 
All oh, right, I'm tired of listening to Xavier, that old fustalugs. Maybe you can figure out how to get rid of him. Oh, you know, that sounds pretty confrontational. I don't know. <laughs> don't be so pigeon-livered. You should stand up for yourself. Oh, okay, I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good, it's decided then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. I won't stop you anymore. Yes, we can get up to the penthouse. We've done it. Nice. Okay then, guys. That is where we're going to leave it. Next episode, we'll explore the penthouse. Um, but we're out of time for today. So that is going to do it for this episode. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you next time. You know. <laughs>